Welcome uh, to another Opto Planner example. Um, I've just created a simulation, and uh, what we're doing here is we have an assembly line with different machines, and we're sending out mechanics to fix those machines. So I'll just add a second mechanic here. Um, now, what you can see is that um, the red mechanic is going to fix machines as well as the green mechanic. And so you can see the machines held above them. For example, you can see that machine A on the top left corner is uh, quite losing a lot of health. And the mechanics have to make sure that none of these machines reach zero health uh, before they can be fixed. Uh, of course, we only have two mechanics. And it takes a while to move from one mechanic to the next mechanic, uh, from one machine to the next machine. So um, they really need to do this efficiently. Uh, you can see for each mechanic uh, what will what is OptoPlanner's thinking, right? What will be the next stop to go to? Um, and you can also see that um, once they reach there, it still takes quite a, a few seconds, like uh, two or three seconds, to actually fix the machine. And they're still they're managing to keep all machines afloat. So some machines are getting more damage than others. Um, you can, for example, see right now that machine E is definitely getting hurt more than the average machine. Uh, it goes down quicker. Uh, that's not a problem. Um, you can see that OptoPanner automatically adjusts its uh, routes to deal with that. Uh, we see the red one now going to A, fixing that. And despite this chaos, basically, um, they can, can manage that, right? Um, none of the machines go down. Uh, they all look... Um, some of them are orange now, but of course there are only two mechanics. Um, and if it could really be bad, we could send in a third mechanic, but um, that's not needed right now. We keep them up. Here we go. And we don't really see a pattern um, emerging. And the reason for that is, again, because in this case, the damage is um, non-uniform. Right, so if there would be uniform damage, um, we have simulations of that too, I'll show that in another uh, video, we would actually see the more or less the, um, the uh, two mechanics form a certain pattern. Basically, they start dancing into a certain order, right? Uh, that's not the case here. Um, they have to go to I a lot. You can see I is now becoming a problem, but just in the nick of time, the green um, guy was there. Okay. So everything is still going well. It's quite nice. So this is the example. I'm going to stop the damage. So we'll see that they'll gradually fix everything, of course. It takes a while for them to actually go around and fix everything. And then I'm going to remove one of the mechanics. I will I'll start removing the mechanics, or they'll actually start going home from them uh, out of their own. We'll see that right now. There you go. And everybody is going home.